Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Tips by Anil. So in this video, we will see what is the delegation and we are using SharePoint as a data source. So if you will see here that we are getting a warning and the warning is a delegation warning. The search part of this formula might not work correctly on large data set. Okay, so in this, uh, behind this, uh, we are using uh, the data set and the employee data list okay so this list having around a 1400 of record you can see here all right so now if i want run this application i can see only 50 count i can see here but we having 1400 records in the sharepoint list okay why we are getting the 50 counts because in the setting of this application, see data row limit. Set how many rows are retrieved from server side connection where delegation is not supported. So we have uh, put it 50 uh, rows. But if because this search function is non delegable, okay. So why it's non delegable? See here in the Power Apps delegation function and operation for SharePoint. The search function is non delegable, okay. But the filter function is delegable. So, suppose instead of the search, if I will comment it, okay, and I want apply this filter here, okay. So here we can see hundreds of record. Okay, even our data row limit is only 50. Why? What it said, the statement is set how many rows are retrieved from server side connection where delegable is not supported. Means if the function is non delegable, but here you can see the filter function is delegable. In the documentary of the Microsoft, you can see the filter function is delegable with the number, with the text, with the boolean, with the date, uh, date time and with the complex as well. All right. So here we can see we are getting the record, all the records that are available in a SharePoint. Now you can uh, you will see uh, we are getting right now 100 records. Whenever you will scroll down, you can see next 100 records has been loaded automatically so this is the smart gallery of the power apps automatically whenever you will scroll down it will load next 100 record okay and in this record suppose anything you want to search from anywhere you can go and uh, type the name and you can see the search is available okay so we having two types of search the first search uh, like, like first search, you can see here, we having filter employee data start with full name. So whenever you will try to start the search, start the name. Okay. So suppose I want to search this her prayer. Okay. H A R P E R. Now I can see all the rows with the same name as her prayer. Okay. Either it's a surname is Castillo doesn't matter but we are getting the data okay so this is the filter and this is the delegable function but when we will go you know uh, with the non delegable function like search then what will be happened suppose i will comment it okay and i will uncomment it so now we can see only 50 items here okay so what it will do suppose this item is seated on row number 17 okay now if i will type i can see the search is working but what happened when we will search the item that is seated on row number 51 okay this this name if i want to search i will not get the result see okay the row count equals to zero so what it will do it will allow the search whatever the row limit you have set it here 
but here also you cannot set more than 2000 records so suppose whenever i will go for 2001 you can see this value need to be between 1 and 200 okay so suppose i have set it, it here uh, 2000 okay then the search will work in all the data okay see Let me save it. I want to see. Yep, I have set it here 2000 records. Now let me try it again. Okay, let me search this record here first. L E A H. Yes, now you can see I can search that name L E A H. Even that was set on row number 51. Okay, now suppose I want to search the record that is set on 230. Okay, or either uh, 229. But what happened whenever the record will be more than more than 2000 in the sharepoint list then the search function will not work okay right now you can see all the records will load automatically you can see 1400 records has been loaded in the sharepoint list in this uh, power apps gallery but what happened when the record will be more than 2000 at that time this first search function will not work but sharepoint recommend always the limit of the row should be 500 okay so suppose uh, for the performance uh, issue we will get if we will set more than 500 now suppose it will set here 500 and you are going to search the record that is set it on beyond 500 so let me copy a record Suppose this record is on 501, 502, Victoria. Okay, this is on 503. So if I will search this, see, I'm getting the record, but ID is 500. Okay, now if I will search, uh, because uh, this ID okay 500 Victoria but the record Victoria VO I cannot get because our limit is only 500 okay but if I will go in the filter function then I will get that record C 5003 I can see that record. So this is the difference between delegable and non-delegable function. The delegable function are like filtered, start with, and these function will work either your data is greater than 2000, 5000 or 10,000 records, but the search function will not work beyond 2000 records or the records that cited more than the limit you have set it in your application okay suppose we have set it at 500 uh, then it will search the record that is set it on beyond 500 you will not able to search okay so this is the difference between delegable and non-delegable function so stay tuned stay connected we will see you in next video all right bye bye have a nice day